Hello. I don't think the government ever looks so good. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for doing this. Hello. I'm Jessica, and I'm with the IRS. It is my job to help taxpayers. Now, before I talk about how I use Twitter to do that, I want to give you a little background about me, because part of this talk is sort of also my, um, my reaction on working on Twitter at the IRS. I came from a technology company um, where I worked in brand marketing, and I started at the IRS about a year ago. At the IRS, I work on social media and specifically on Twitter. So, the IRS is tasked with giving information to taxpayers. Traditionally, we've done that with publications on paper. For, we print a lot of forms, publications, documents. Those documents are made available at our walk-in offices and at local public libraries. We have call-in centers and walk-in centers where people can ask questions. And that has been the traditional way we provide information, as well as our website. Well, people have started looking in for information differently with tools like Twitter. So the IRS decided to start providing information for people where they are, where they're looking for information. So that brings me to Twitter. The IRS um, started tweeting in 2010, but this was not our first foray into social media. We started using new mediums to bring information to taxpayers in 2007 with podcasts. Then in 2009, we started using YouTube. We have three YouTube channels, one in English, one multilingual, and one in American Sign Language. And then Twitter started, as I said, in 2010. And then most recently, we started creating a mobile app. And the cool thing about the mobile app, at least in my opinion, is that you can connect with us on Twitter via our mobile app. Now, whenever you present information to the public or you put information out to the public, there are risks. There are risks of putting out inaccurate information. There are risks of misunderstanding the information. With the IRS, this is of great concern because when we put information out, you, the taxpayer, uses it to file your tax return. So we're responsible for giving you good, accurate information. Um, so that's one thing that was very important when we started going on Twitter. Uh, the other issue we have is personal information. Um, most of the conversations between taxpayers and the IRS at walk-in centers and at our call centers are personal in nature. They involve sharing personal information, social security numbers, personal financial information. One of the concerns when we moved some conversations and information sharing to social media was that these conversations would also move to that realm. And obviously, we don't want people's personal information out in the public realm or sacrificed in any way. That's a very big concern. As a result, most of our Twitter accounts are used to share information with you, not to have a conversation. That is still done in more secure ways through our call, our call numbers and our walk-in centers. Um, other security concerns we have are about um, specific things that are said about us. People were concerned that if we end up on Twitter that we would start hearing people saying bad things about us. Well, people are going to say bad things about a brand if they're not happy on Twitter, regardless of if you're there or not. The good thing now is we're there to hear them. So that's one thing that has been a positive thing about us being out on social media and Twitter in speci specifically. Now, another thing is I posted a comment, a question on Twitter yesterday and the day before, asking people what their first reaction was to the word taxes. Nobody answered me. <laughs> so obviously, this is a challenge we face. The other thing is, I can say it a million times, the tax code is very complicated. And everyone's individual personal situation can change the answer to a question. It, doesn't, it matters whether you're married, filing jointly, single, how many children you have. There's so much, so it's really difficult to get information out in 140 characters that's good information that everyone can use, that's accurate, that will be helpful. So what we do to provide value is we t tweet tax tips, we tweet to our, um, our, our YouTube videos, we try to provide a little piece of information, something that talks about the topic, and then we direct people to our website, irs.gov, where they'll get a lot more information maybe more than they wanted. Now, 
Let me get down to how we do this. We have five Twitter accounts at IRS. The first one, IRS News, is our main corporate Twitter account. This is the one that I tweet on with two other people, and it is for the general tax audience. We put out our tax tips, we post our YouTube videos, we share information, news, and it's intended for the general taxpayer. IRS Tax Pros is for the tax professional community. This one has some general information, some news, new tax law, but it also shares information about educational opportunities that the IRS provides to the tax preparer community. IRS in Espanol is our Spanish Twitter account. Um, it's again a general audience, but it may or may not be the same topics that the IRS News is tweeting about because it's run through our Spanish public relations office and they work to make sure that the topics that they're talking about are of interest to that community. IRS recruitment is run out of our human capital office. This is our recruiting tool for um, on Twitter and this Twitter account uses it to post jo not just job vacancies, but also information for individuals who are interested in a career in tax. Your voice at the IRS is probably the hardest one to explain. It's run by the uh, Taxpayer Advocate Service, and if you're not aware of the Taxpayer Advocate Service, it's an independent organization within the IRS that is tasked by Congress to help taxpayers who are experiencing economic harm as a result of a tax issue. They also work on systemic problems within IRS um, to help us become a more efficient agency. So they tweet at your voice at IRS. Now, how do we get all the information out? The IRS is a really big organization. We have many different business units that deal with different types of taxes. We have an organization that deals with small and medium businesses. We have one that deals with not-for-profit agencies. So what we do is we have a Twitter editorial board that has members of the communications teams from all the organizations across our agency. And we meet on a monthly basis and we work together to get content to us in the communications office so that we can put it out on Twitter. We try to find out what's going on in their organizations, what's important, what people are wanting to know there so that we can then get it out on Twitter. We help them to make that information in a good format to be shared on Twitter because obviously it's a different medium, information goes out differently. So we work with them to get that information out. Um, since we started tweeting in 2010, we've had a bunch of different milestones and we've, we've had a very interesting reception within the Twitter community. When we started, you know, we'd, we've been learning along the way, we learn what works. We started becoming much more active with Twitter in December, to, December 2010. We put out a media advisory, let the press know we were on Twitter, and we all of a sudden started seeing more people join, listen to us, and more people click through on our tweets. And now, we, since that point, we've had an increase of almost 400% of followers on our IRS News account. That, you know, it's really great to see the reception. Oh my God, I've got 35 seconds. Anyway, <laughs> it's really great to see the reception of people. And, you know, it's really interesting to see how, as I said, you know, I asked a question about taxes and I got no responses. But I think the thing that we're, we've been doing at IRS that has really helped us is we are working to become the information expert on Twitter. I, as on my personal account, am not the information expert on taxes, but IRS News, is, and that is where people can come and find out. So thank you, and um, feel free to contact me on my personal Twitter. That's where I can answer questions, J.A. Orkina. You can email me, Jessica Orkina at irs.gov, and please follow us at IRS News. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much.